Hello everyone, and we're back with more, well, with our review of uh, Final Fantasy VII. I enjoyed it, just not anywhere near as much as I did the first time around, mainly because the new games have spoiled me a lot. Um, like, random battles are, have their, have had their day, I would say, and I think the new systems that are in place in a lot of RPGs are probably better where you can see fights and you can run into them. Um, I wasn't a big fan of them to start with but the longer we've had them the more I have actually enjoyed them and now that I've been playing big RPGs with random fights I think I prefer the ones where I can like see a fight. Um, that's that's the first thing. The story, like the story, was the story was fun. I liked the story. Um, yeah, you start off as people trying to save the planet. Um, well, the whole entire uh, game, you are just all you're trying to do is save the planet. But you start off by being terrorists, literal terrorists, where you blow up a fucking reactor and kill thousands if not millions of people. Depends on how many people are living in Midgar. Like if seven or eight million people are living in Midgar, you blew up one sector and say like 10% of that died. Um, so you start off as proper fucking terrorists, but throughout the game you become, um, you redeem yourselves throughout the entire game. Uh, and I, I really enjoyed it. You're still seen as terrorists the whole way through the game, and of course you are. But eventually, like, your enemies start to notice you and like you more. Well, not even like you, but... Realise you're for the better. Um, <clears throat> I like the whole, I was a soldier, but you're not really because your memory's fucked. Uh, you think you are someone else. You think you're a Zack when you're actually Cloud. Uh, but you've got your own cloud memories, but also you've got Zack's memories, so you're all fucked. And that portrays really well throughout the entire game. Uh, until, well, until you fix yourselves. I, I really enjoyed the story. But that's probably, that's also probably nostalgia speaking. It's... It's one of the better storylines in Final Fantasy. One of the better ones. Definitely. Um, it could be told better, and that's what F FF7 Remake is for. FF7 Remake pl uh, tells it so much better than this does, but that's also a remake, and it just came out recently. Um, yeah, the gameplay, it's dated. The gameplay is definitely dated, you can tell. It's so slow. Like, some of the animations, like, even FF8 fixed this. Like, I want some... So the summons, that they're so goddamn long sometimes. Like, if you have... Especially if you have Knights of the Round. Um, Supernova against Safer Sephiroth was the worst goddamn ability. And I understand why it's there. Uh, it's to show off the fact that you could do this shit at the start of the game, um, but it's, it's annoying after a while, yeah, um, but so yeah, the, the, the gameplay is dated, good for back then, but dated for now, what else is there, um, graphics, I can't even say the graphics are bad, they're good for the day, for the 1996, I think it was 1996, 1997. Very good graphics for then. Still doesn't look terrible, but I also am using the upgraded graphics. So it's the graphics or whatever. They're 1996, 1997 graphics. Um, music is fucking godly. This is one of the best soundtracks in all of gaming history. Fight me. Um, I love 
almost every single score in this entire game. I even, so when I was a kid, I even got to the point where I started listening to opera music because of, or, or orchestral music because of this, these games, Final Fantasy. Uh, but this is one of the better soundtracks. And it's, it can be overpowering sometimes. Unlike in 12, we're 12, you don't even fucking notice it. Um, yeah, so, where do I rank this in my Final Fantasies? Top, I would still say top is 10. Second is probably 9. Third might be 15. And then fourth would be 7, I think. Story-wise, 9 is probably better. I, th I liked 9 more. I think I liked 9's story the best. I liked 10 in general the best. Uh, 15 has the best gameplay. 500 years later. Then we also get this little bit at the end of the game. Or the end of the credits. And I'll show this during the review, because why not? It's Red 13's pack. There's Midgar. Everyone's left Midgar. The humans might also be dead. That doesn't... Like, even the water is completely in. Yeah. That's a really cool sight. Uh, that's a weird story arc ending. Uh, it could imitate the fact that all humans are dead. But I don't think they are. Uh, yeah, so... I, as I said, I don't think it's the... I don't think it's the best Final Fantasy. It's not middle of the pack. It's definitely in my top four. Uh, yeah, ten. The ga the So the gameplay is much worse than 15. But the story is much better than 15. But I enjoyed playing 15 more. So I think I do rank 15 higher than this. Yeah. So yeah. That's um, that's pretty much all I can say. I definitely enjoyed this game. And it's so far my fourth favourite uh, Final Fantasy. And I will see you all in the next uh, Final Fantasy playthrough. Which will be 6. And what from what I remember, 6 is... Just better than seven. And we shall see. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all had fun. And I'll see you all later. Have fun, people. And bye-bye.